Hey everyone, let's do a tutorial side. <laughs> <laughs> See, different. <laughs> Very different. Different siren. <laughs> I'm Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Hi, Woody. There's uh, Menace. What is up, Woody? Seabass, good morning to you. Oh, we out here. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Sammy. Good morning. We got the phones open, 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987. Uh, we got this week in audio. Ooh. Seabass, what do you got for us? Let's start from the followup.com news desk. Woody brought us the story of... Matthew Pancake, who... Yeah, his name's Matthew Pancake. <laughs> yeah. It was in that big, long uh, report on rednecks that right, I had. There yeah. was so, there has been so much redneck news here recently. He went on a crime spree in Ohio, uh, including a Roosters, which uh, I went to a Roosters when I was shooting that movie in Ohio. It's a mm -hmm. nice little chain. You got pizzas, beers, yeah, all that kind of no, stuff. But also fun. stopped by a pet store, stole a bunch of pets, let a bunch of pets loose. And we have body cam of Mr. Pancake's arrest. Uh, I'm not calling it, but this might be... A uh, candidate for the best audio of the year. Oh, oh just, just check out this first sentence. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Mr. Pancake, you're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pancake, you're under arrest. Was he known by the police? Apparently, because they found him. Yeah. He's in a uh, like a leopard print one piece onesie, <laughs> oh, sleeping on a city bench. Sweet. <laughs> so I think he may be known, as they say, known to law yeah. enforcement. Don't yeah. forget he had uh, hamsters stuck in his pants. Well, hey, mm. let's not forget that, you know, because we're gonna mm. find that out here in just a moment. So here they are wrestling and um, uh, getting, because he's kind of like napping. He's just a cute little napping guy. Mm -hmm. So they wrestle him uh, into uh, cuffs here. All right. Don't move. Get on your belly. Get on your belly. Do it here. On your belly. Get on your belly. On your belly. Oh, get on your belly, Mr. Pancake! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pancake! So, these co I mean, the cops are aggressive. And <laughs> but respectful. But yeah. respectful. Right. And polite. That's so respectful. <laughs> and as what he just hinted at, yes, that uh, pet store included, he had some animals on him somehow, like stuffed up the leggings of uh, Which is why leg. he was refusing to roll over on his belly. He had him stuffed down the front of his pants. He'd crush them. Well, wow. here's what the cops uh, found. All right. On, on, your, on belly. your belly! In Pancake. the name of the law, Pancake, get on your belly! <laughs> In the name of the law, Pancake. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I like, didn't think cops actually said that. Yeah, yeah. What, what year is this? Oh. By the authority of the state of Ohio. <laughs> yep. Uh, Mr. Pancake? That is so funny. In the name of the law, Pancake, get on your belt. <laughs> My under arrest for seriously. Breaking and entering. Theft. Oh, the damaging. Oh, God, there is a turbo. Oh, there's a turbo. That's so funny. <laughs> Gerbil. Oh, yeah, there's a gerbil. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of, at the time they got him finally arrested, they were kind of down by his ankles. I don't know. They, they, so they start going through his ankles. Like A lot of people don't know it? the difference between gerbils and hamsters. Yeah. Oh, what is the difference? Uh, gerbils have tails. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Hamsters just have like a little, 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 little nubby. Is it I yeah. just urban legend? That now. Really? Is it yeah. urban legend that gerbils are used for sexual purposes? Well, that was the old Richard Gere urban yeah, legend. Yeah. Yeah. We had hamsters one time, but then she got pregnant and ate her babies. So oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. there you go. So, okay. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> so there. <laughs> that happens. A sea bass from his uh, youth story. Yeah. Disgusting. Uh, yeah. Real, real gross. <laughs> uh, so, so they, they get down there and they, oh, oh my God, there are gerbils or hamsters, uh, whichever it happens to be, in his pants. And then they make sure to radio that back into the headquarters. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Multiple gerbils. Multiple gerbils recovered. Multiple gerbils in his pants. Oh my god. You wouldn't even think this was real. <laughs> it sounds like a cartoon. It does. Yeah. Uh, By the way, this is from the we played this. Uh, this is a YouTube channel, Police Activity. They got a bunch yeah. of great videos. Um that's that where you could find the, the that's where you could find the Matthew Pancake arrest video. Multiple <laughs> suspect has multiple gerbils in his pants. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's funny. Mr. Pancake! Oh, by the by the Mr. Pancake, you're under arrest! That's right. In the name of the law. Oh, yeah, in the wow. name of the law. Mr. Pancake, uh, get on your belly. Oh, I love it. Uh, this week in audio. All right, less fun arrest audio here. This is that uh, TMZ has this video from a United flight, Miami to Newark, the lovely city of Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And this lady, who sounds like she's from that area, she got into a fight over probably something very important. To the point that she was being uh, zip-tied, because now, now we're, we are now at the point where every plane basically has those zip-tie handcuffs yeah, on right. board. Because so many of you yep. are maniacs out there that yep. people are just getting arrested left and right every day. So they're zip-tying her, and she's actually, she bit 
a piece of the flight attendant's shirt off. Yeah, she did. She like mm. reaches over his back. <laughs> got to bite her. And then she, as she's getting cuffed, she's now uh, mad at everyone for observing oh, yeah. that she's getting cuffed. Yeah, she's yelling, she's screaming. And including this one lady. Nothing. Old lady, who are you talking to, old lady? Go back to Russia, old lady. Wow. Go back to f- Russia. Where are you from, old lady? Suck my f- bitch. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. oh. Go back to Russia. Oh, lady. Why are you it recorded, old lady? Oh, Greg, that, that Brooklyn accent. Mm mm. So it sexy. It does sound Classy. Brooklyn to me. Wait, 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 Bronx, Queens? What do you think what? that is? <laughs> One of know. those. Old lady. Oh, my God. It's Jenny from the block. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sexy. Uh, so good for her. She she ended up. Uh, well, the, the good part about that is it left from Miami. She got into a fight almost immediately. They landed in Orlando, and then everyone got delayed. They didn't. Oh, you know, they got a whole new flight crew. So yeah. thanks a lot, bitch. And I'm sure she's out and free to do it again. They sure. Just left her on the flight, zip tied with a sock in her mouth. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and her yell about going back to Russia. Right. And, mm-hmm. and and every time there, I just watched this other video where this woman gets pulled over by the cops. She has no license. You know, she's not supposed to be on the road. She's got this other warrant out for her arrest, and she's yelling and screaming at this cop about how. He has no right, and she's done nothing wrong. You just heard it right there. I don't need a license. No. Like, you're not required to have a license for a private vehicle. This is not a commercial vehicle, sir. That's that's a sovereign citizen is what that Mm. is. And, uh, yeah, she's carrying on and on and on. And then when these people finally are getting arrested, they're yelling and screaming. They're incredible. So in case anybody's videotaping, they can go, I didn't do anything. You're doing this for nothing. You're going to be in trouble. And trying, I think, just to intimidate whoever's uh, arresting them and not doing what they're supposed to do with their job because they're worried about getting fired. Of course. Well, yeah. can we, off, I think she, this lady on the flight here is biting off flight attendants' clothing. <laughs> yeah. can, we, can we throw her on the island, Menace? I would yes. Think, yes. Like, that's, she can be you're, on that. You're not, you're not deserving of civilized I'm sure society. the There's island no hope. would like need a cook it's or something. It's like a little <laughs> ramp on the back of the plane we can open up and just shove her out. Right, yeah, I've seen them do it at movies all the time. Like where they drop yeah. you know, tanks out of and totally. stuff. Or cars in the Fast yeah. and the Furious. Southwest has that, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. they do, yeah. All right, this other guy, uh, this making national news out of Philly. This is uh, the man who's wearing a T-shirt with a candy cane on it, and the uh, lettering says it's not going to lick itself. <laughs> nice. Classy. <laughs> He's at a Dollar Tree store off uh, Snyder Avenue in Philly. Yeah. This Dollar Tree is next to the other store, which is uh, Space Available. Tells you like, what kind of nice, <laughs> what oh, kind of a nice okay. shopping center yeah, that sure. is. Yeah. And uh, he leaves a piece of himself on a lady. Yeah, this story's been blowing up. Yeah. And uh, here's, here's a little bit of the audio, because she, she thankfully, she got some video of him running away from her. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Look, he fucking nutted on my fucking leg. You go to hell, bitch. Oh, my God. He nutted on my leg. <laughs> he nutted on my leg. Yeah, he finished on her leg. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, a couple things there. I don't... As a man, I don't understand how I could become aroused. That's, that's what, what we were saying. saying. Yeah, dude. yeah. It like all, that fast. Thank you. That's uh-huh. what we, like. And yeah. how you time it. Yeah. And, and how you think you're getting aroused. away with it. Well, People yeah. have a hard time getting all the different elements of dinner together, like to make sure the sides <laughs> and everything <laughs> else are all done oh, at the, the same bread's time. Cold, damn Meanwhile, it. this guy, he, it's uh, like a magician. He's in a dollar tree. tree. Yeah. So you, he couldn't have been prepared, kind of a little bit as see, walking in, like holding it in. I don't know. Sure. Of course. But that moment can escape very quickly. Yeah. So and, the fact that he's able to and I could, get it, maintain it. I couldn't and, walk around this room in, or at a Dollar Tree exactly. getting prepared either. It's yeah, unbelievable. Right. He's a medical marvel. <laughs> well, he, of course, he has uh, turned himself in after the video. went. I think Me- Meek Mill even shared the video. Menace. Yeah, Meek Mill actually put a bounty and offered money a to bounty. find the guy. Yeah. This is my, my favorite part is from one of the news stories is uh, he's known to frequent the plaza there and the nearby underpass. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. So, again, yeah. more people we don't need in society. Yeah, again, you, it, I have yet to hear the update of whether or not her leg is pregnant. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing is at the very least, I mean, it sucks. I get it. Yeah. She's obviously traumatized as the words go. Yes. Sure. But at the end of the day, it's just her leg. Thank God. Uh, again, another candidate for the island. Sure. Guy, guy, from under, guy who's not going to lick itself. With that chick. <laughs> Who is a special lady. Uh, uh-huh. you know, let's, let's play the intro here, and then I'll show you a picture of her. Okay. Right. For students, crossing the busy streets of Brooklyn can be nerve-wracking. But in the distance, these kids see something full of joy. My name is Esther Bishop, a.k.a. Star, and I am the dancing crossing guard. I let them know we've got them dance. For 15 years, Star has been a member of the NYPD crossing guards. Her goal is to make every driver see her, 
But she's really transformed this street into a stage. Yeah. How can they miss her? <laughs> so she is. Yes, they pay people. They pay crossing guards. They're not just old people yeah. who volunteer oh, in New York. Wow. She gets paid eighteen dollars an hour, and she has. She's a, a crazy person. <laughs> yes. She's got all kinds of face makeup, like purple and green and blue. Now, Greg, uh, we know how much you love a nose piercing. This takes it to the next level. So it's she's, a nose piercing that is connected with a chain. To, to her, her ear piercing. earrings. Mm -hmm. And then she has like gold headbands. She's wearing these knit gloves. She's got a pearl thing on her head. She's grills. Yeah. She's an insane person who works for the city around your children. I was say, she looks like the kind of person you try to keep away from kids. <laughs> and she's dancing in the middle of the street. But that's why cause that's why the local news is there. I think I, I, they picked this up nationally even. But and a great Brooklyn accent there too. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Very sexy. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> here is Esther, a.k.a. Star. Why, why is she? Why is she so crazy? What's her goal? What's my goal every day? To do this right here, meet people, yeah. meeting you, seeing your face again, yeah. uplifting people. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. What other goal can you have better? For a crossing guard named Star, it's fitting she makes this corner of the yeah. city shine bright. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like wow. what a great, what a great boy. And you know, I couldn't be more <laughs> sappy and sweet. If like I, I love her message. Don't get me wrong. But if I saw her dancing in the street like that, I would call the police on her because there's a crazy person in the street. Let's think about it in any other situation. Let's say that she shows up to apply and let's say she had a, a nursing degree. She shows up to interview for a job as a nurse. Green face mm -hmm. paint. Is she getting hired? I don't think she is. She goes to the school. Forget the crossing guard thing for a second. She goes to the school applies for a job of any kind. You want to serve potatoes? Yeah. Lunch lady, janitor, anything else. They're going, we appreciate you coming by today. But I'm uh, a star. We'll, we'll call you. <laughs> I'm dancing in. There's no way. <laughs> she does her makeup like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. Oh. Remember? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> but, but, but with about 15 more pounds of other things. But again, right. nothing right. wrong with her message. She really likes to bedazzle her face. She does. Her message is dance in the street. All right, this yeah. week in audio. Okay, uh, has Steve Carell crossed over into unfunny old uh, grump? Ooh. Oh. This is audio from uh, BBC Radio 1, oh. where he's talking. Uh, they had some lady call in, and she said she hates that's what she said jokes. How, first mm. off, how dare she? And of course, right. Steve Carell, formerly Michael Scott, the king uh, and popularizer of That's What She Said, here was, his t here was his take on it. Also, listen to a really good radio host that's being really truthful and honest here. Walking around with my kids and someone would roll down the window of their car and scream, that's what she said. What? 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 I can't. What? what? One of your most popular catchphrases, people would, would say that do to that? you when you were mega famous. <laughs> yeah. What? I can't believe, how of the gall? Yeah, that's just obnoxious. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Attention, fellow broadcasters. Stop lying to everybody with your reactions. <laughs> no one believes you. All well, anyway, right. what, uh, Steve says not only not only was he he was so shocked and appalled when uh, people would yell that to him when, mm. he, when he had his kids around, All but right. now when he won't even autograph photos with that. Oh, oh, we. Steve. Yeah, that sucks. Whenever I'm asked to sign that, I won't. I, I'm glad about that. I just can't. Oh. I can't abide by that sort of thing and I, I i agree with you it, it was it was fun in the moment and certainly that character thought it was funny which was the joke because it was even a bad joke back then yeah. that, and the character had very was did not have a good sense of humor <laughs> um so i think people forget that yes he did that's why he was so likable mm. Because even though he was a dope, he was super likable. Woody doesn't want it to die. What do you, well, you I, know, I knew Woody would hate this. Yeah. But I'm I'm on Woody's side here. Like we we know it was we know it was that's what she said wasn't. But then the other people in the office, Jim and the Pam, mm. they got on board yeah. with that's what she said yeah. And, yeah. and had fun with it. You know why? Because mm -hmm. it's fun. Because it was huge. That's what she said. Oh. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, but to, to, to be at the point where I won't even like autograph it. No, yeah. Yeah. it's not like. And by the way, it's not like, like Steve Carell. Like that's the only thing he's got. He's done. He's got a great career. Yeah, right. He, if you if you autograph things like that, no one's gonna say, "Oh, he's just the." That's what she said. Guy. Right, right. So it's like how um, there was a show, Different Strokes. Gary Coleman was Arnold Jackson in the show. Gary Coleman would refuse the "What you talking about, Willis?" What which you was talking his, about, Willis? That was, that was his catchphrase, catchphrase. and that what he was actually known for. Yes, like. That's yeah. that, and that was pretty much that's it. That's what she well, said. Yeah, He's done he way more he has. than the office. But still, yeah. it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. That's what she and if, said. And it's, it's back to what we talked about with our good personal friend, Mark McGrath. Uh, if people like you for something, they're mm -hmm. doing it because they like you. Right. Yeah. right. Why Embrace Why ruin it. their joy? Well, they're not McGrath, making fun of you. Lead singer of Sugar Ray, who they have really gone all in just leaning into the nostalgia part of 
people love their songs. You don't have to come up with a whole bunch of new stuff and tour on new albums. I want to talk about people, my Sharknado appearance. People yeah. just want all those big old Sugar Ray hits yeah. when they go out and they see the show. And so he's just giving the people what they want. Now, Greg, yeah. let's say you're listening to the show on BBC One and you're not enjoying what you're listening to. <laughs> what other options might you have? Oh, you have so many choices. Yeah. I don't like what's on Channel One. I'll go to Channel Two. Yeah, BBC Two. And then oh, radio, don't forget we got, radio, we radio. got three or four as well. Yeah. Yeah. You have well, four you're choices. Flush with choice. Oh, if you don't perhaps enjoy BBC One, <laughs> you can flip over to BBC Two. I got interviewed by one of those channels when I was okay. in London. Oh. Uh, well, a walk- breakfast show? Well, no, no, by a TV show. I was walking. Okay. It was rainy. It was a rainy surprise. London morning, uh-huh. and they just had elections in London. The guy walks up to me with his camera crew, shows a mic in my face, which is quite rude. I don't, I don't do that. I, but anyway, I played along. He goes, How, hello, what were your thoughts on the election last night? And I like, said, uh, there was well, as you can tell by my accent, I know a lot about it. And I want to talk to you. <laughs> and he goes, all right, thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Uh, all right, bro. Yeah, all, right, all right, bro. Cheers. Now, he was nice about it. Let's but. go up to this super muscular, handsome man and find out what he oh, thinks yeah. about the election. Well, hello, we wanted to talk yeah. to you. Oh, he looks so, like he slams lots of chicks. He's 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 you're a local. Strong. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this shows you. I wasn't, yeah, I'm not walking around like some dopey tourist with yeah. socks up to my knees and my glasses on. Yeah, with a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. He's like, this is a proper London chat, bro. Yeah. Uh, text here says, you guys are all ugly except for Morgan and Sammy, and you're all being dicks about the crossing guard lady. Uh, first off, oh, no. okay. number one, you're forgetting. Didn't, didn't we say she had a nice message? Yeah. And we agree with it? We're pleasant. I didn't yeah. say that. Oh. <laughs> Menace no, said that. And also, Greg's, Greg Gory's pretty, too. And, yeah. and sh- when you are, see, it's it's if you're a beautiful person, you're not supposed to talk about ugly people. Right. Because mm-hmm. that's, that's rude. But when you're a fellow fat ass or a fellow fug... You know what I mean? Like y- you could talk about ugly and fugly fat people, and, and, and it's even, fine. It's having the past. It's like being black and being able to use the n word. Like you can get away with it, and we whereas others can't. Even we she knows that she's she knows she's looking. ugly. She knows Wait, it. Well, we the even, way she does her makeup, that's on her. Right? She and knows. We, we Any adult her. wearing a grill. And we didn't say you know. ugly. Yeah, we should say she's a psychopath and highly over accessorized. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she has a lot of flair. Lots of, her yeah, a lot of face flair. Yeah. Choices. <laughs> uh, this week in audio. Flair. All right, what else we got here? Oh, uh, next piece of audio. Okay, this is a woman who uh, her, her Instagram name Menace is flowers in Spanish. Okay, okay. so what would uh, the, the word for flower be in Spanish? Menace, you would it would be floral. <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> Florel. 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 People are crapping on her, and I say, hey, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you guys be the judge. Okay. So she shows up to pick fruit out of a tree. Uh-huh. Right? And she now she does this in full face makeup with like right. the eyes and everything, and mm-hmm. her hair is all done. She's got a nice highlight and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And here she is. She's wearing one of like the sacks you put fruit in. And here she is telling us about her experience. Hey okay, guys, it's 100 degrees out here. And these letters burn your hands, and you just have to carry this. So, like, my whole back is sweaty already. My back's already sweaty. And you have to fill it up all the way. So, you're like literally climbing up the hot ladder. You're going higher up to the sun. And you're just doing this for hours and hours to really smell the pesticide. Oh, you can. And this thing, like, squishes your lungs the heavier it gets. So, as you're trying to catch your breath, you're also getting like suffocated as you put more and more. We should come and like replace farm workers for a day, huh? What are you talking well, about? I don't so even it, get it, so what the, she the point was is, millennial gets <laughs> or Gen Z gets introduced to hard work. Essentially. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gen Z shows up in full makeup and is like, "Oh my god!" And like, this ladder is hot and stuff. And, like, this is, and then of course, I'm sure she stayed there for the full eight hour work day picking fruit, right? Oh, oh wait. Wait. Yeah. wait, everybody. Oh, so like hard work. You like you but, get sweaty, and, and then the more fruit you put in, the heavier it gets. And it, like, cr- and it crushes your lungs. It doesn't crush your lungs, idiot. <laughs> So this is like the simple life. It's Paris Hilton. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. this is cosplaying as a yeah. laborer, but I want to be an influencer instead. Yeah. <laughs> Again, right, check uh, out Florel on. <laughs> Florel. Yeah. Florel. 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 <laughs> is that a, Superman's mom? Florel. Florel. I think so. Yeah. Jorel's the dad. Right. Florel's the mom. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more clip this week in audio. All right, here's a real influencer. This is a man who influences people to be safe, especially around storms and natural disasters. Oh. That is Frankie, Frankie McDonald. McDonald. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Love Frankie. He was, of course, got everybody ready for the hurricane this yeah. week. And now he's just doing, I just caught this one on his YouTube page. Here is him uh, tell, showing you what it'll be like should an earthquake siren go off. Oh. So here's Frankie McDonald. Okay. All right. Hey, everyone. Let's do an earthquake siren. <laughs> 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 Not <laughs> 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 
going, this huh? This is by the way, just a test. Just a test okay. of the National Earthquake Service. Hmm. We got it. Frankie, uh, we got uh, it. No, no, no. Yeah. Just a test. Still a test. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm good. This is just a test. Frankie. <laughs> Get out under the table. No, Frankie. <laughs> I'm Frank down. I'm Frankie McDonald. Uh, I'm Frankie McDonald. Uh, I'm Frankie McDonald. Do you think you're uh, so perfect funny. Pitch. ever touched a woman? First off. How dare, How dare you? you? I get it. He's a celebrity, and well, he might not get. Not everything's some... about sex, menace. I get it. You have sex all the time. But Frank, <laughs> Frankie McDonald is a public servant. You're obsessed, menace. I just want to know. Get it? You want to see his weed? I just want to know if he has happiness in his life. <laughs> he does. He's always, I think he's 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 always very serving happy. the public, he's, but his, is he getting served? His happiness is helping people. And mm -hmm. yeah, the but, weather. And yeah, he just and loves earthquakes. Yeah. But does he finish after? Am <laughs> I doing this? Frankie, we apologize. I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is Frankie McDonald. There was a tornado siren outside the Royal Canadian Legion. Just a, just yeah. a test. Just yeah. There's one. Let's do a tornado siren. <laughs> <laughs> See, different. <laughs> Very different. Different siren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so sad. Well, there's this week in audio. <laughs> Sammy, he might be available. <laughs> oh, I hope so. The Woody Show. And uh, we can put the bow on. I think the news is kind of tapering off now for what happened over 4th of July. As far uh -huh. as people being dumb with explosives and fireworks. Yeah. yeah. This will kind of put the cherry on that Sunday for this year. Mm -hmm. A father and son were arrested for setting off explosives. This is in Manville, New Jersey. 60-year-old guy. Thomas Kaiser, his 28-year-old son, Eric, set off a single cannon during a neighborhood block party. And in the process, this one dude, 34-year-old dude, got hit because the explosion sent shrapnel flying 100 yards, wrecked Damn. some homes and some cars that were all around the blast zone. And that dude that got hit had to be airlifted to the hospital. Jeez. I don't know what the, uh, the latest on, on him is. If he survived or not, but uh, these guys, the father and son, a ton of charges, aggravated assault and possession of an explosive device. As it Jeez. should be. What did they think was going to happen? Now, a cannon, this is not anything you could buy at a firework stand of any kind. It doesn't matter where it is. The, the cannon is what? It's just like um, an actual uh, cannon. Yeah, they're like little cannons. I shot one off with the people I was with on 4th of July, but you put a blank in it. So it's <laughs> not. Did? Yeah, but you don't it's put in an actual. Let's arrest her for assault. Oh, my God, you guys. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Well, but you're supposed to put a blank in it so that nothing happens, but it just kind of shoots off like a cannon. It's Why but like an old-timey cannon like you'd see like yeah. a. Yeah. Yeah, deck of a pirate little, ship like you could set it on top of a table it's kind of I, like a I, cylinder right are Just you a, sure with this story it's a small one i don't it, know why would it be in the news if it was a tiny cannon they say well they, because we, it was still a real bullet inside of it we had a cannon in uh the movie in ohio there was like a replica civil war cannon that shot off like uh, sammy was saying blanks yeah this is a, a signal cannon so that would that be something you would like put signal a, cannon would that be signal. something for the Navy or something? I Don't know. I think I saw one of those on Pawn Stars. I mean, I could tell you, <laughs> I could tell you about all the Husker Do's and Husker Don'ts, so, like the stuff that you can normally buy. You know, so you're like, gonna tell me, right? No, this is a huge no cannon. Yeah. No rolling Signal candles thing. or screaming memes? Yeah. No. Oh come on, man. You yeah, come on, man. You ain't got none of them. <laughs> Signal cannon. Yeah. Used to announce the beginning of a ceremonial event. Okay, so it's a cool badass. Dun, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, so they, they maybe uh, dun, the beginning of a big race. You know, like mm -hmm. they'll right, fire right. the signal cannon. Yeah, a marathon or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, it sounds like overcharging. And uh, and there you go for 2024 4th of July news. We had a guy. <laughs> yeah, overcharging so after hitting the cars and a Firework on man. his head, <laughs> killing himself, dumb. R.I.P. There's, there's been a lot of uh, other stories that we've covered throughout this uh, first week back, mm -hmm. but yeah, I think that's the, that's the last one. It's kind of slowing up. Until next year. Until next yeah. year, guys. <laughs>